everybody, and welcome back, finally, to the Dirty Balls Podcast. I am your host, Ethan Benfield, and I'm here with my co-host, and we just got done with about 16 hours worth of technical difficulties. It was only one hour. Introduce yourselves, co-hosts. I'm Alan, what's up? I'm Jennifer. I'm Jeremy. We got a lot to talk about, or a little to talk about, or a medium amount to talk about. I really don't know. This is Alan's episode. But first... You're the one who said let's do a show. Yeah, and then and then I wanted you to plan the entire thing. He just and missed you, did. you and wanted to see. I missed my friends. All right, so we're gonna play a game real quick. I know y'all. Shoulder. Now we're gonna play the review game. Back to a one star review. Uh, that positivity was fun, but here's the thing about positive reviews: they're boring. Yes. Uh, so anyway, here we go. This review is from. And by the way, you this has nothing to do with the park itself. There's no clues at all, so you can just guess. It really doesn't Is matter. Is it somewhere we've been before? Yes, it's somewhere you've been before. I just picked this because I thought it was funny how full of themselves this person is. So, Rachel Indiger. Indiger. I-N-D-G-J-E-R. Indiger. Didn't we learn about that in algebra? And I, that, that's integer. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> integer. Uh, I don't even know her. Hey. hey! So Rachel Algebra here has 50 reviews and 127... Why that, why, why that flash? Lucas! Are we having more technical difficulties? I think we... Please stand by. We're difficult. Okay. Not that technical. Are we still recording? Are we still recording? Could you verify yeah. the recording status? Okay, alright. Good. Okay. okay, so 50 reviews, 127 photos, and this uh, was two years ago. And the review reads as follows. Not open for buying tickets that day of game. Ended up not going. Dot, 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 dot. Their loss. Why? How did is... she spell there? Did they spell there right? Yes, they did. Uh -huh. um, why are they so, like, their loss? Like, oh, no, Rachel didn't come. Like, I'm, I'm sure they were all sitting at the stadium crying that day because she wasn't there. Who the hell is Rachel, and why is she so important that it's their loss if she's not at... Blankety blank game. Yeah. So where do you think it was? But wait a minute. I mean, I'm not siding with her, but they were not selling tickets on the day of the game. Yeah, that is shitty. But yeah, but what time of day did she go? I mean, like, did she have to be at work at eight and she showed up at like seven thirty to buy tickets? True. You know, they're not there at seven. We need more information before. She's we right. She's right. right to be upset about that. But why does she think she's so important that it's their loss that she's not there? Maybe they were sold out. Doubt it. Anyway. We don't know where it was yet. Like, if it was Canapolis, if it was Canapolis, they weren't so bad. Canapolis, Canapolis. No, I wasn't uh, guessing oh, that. Oh, okay, I'm right. saying if it was Canapolis, they clearly weren't sold out. Nashville. Alan? I'm saying with Canapolis. Canapolis. Greensboro. You are all incorrect. The answer is Myrtle Beach. Oh, the Pelicans. Wow. Yeah. So, it's their loss. I doubt they lost much. That Rachel's not going to yeah. be there that Sorry, day. Rachel. They, you know what? They probably didn't even have a game that day. She was probably looking at a schedule from the year before. Probably. She's knowing, probably from out of town. She was, maybe she was looking at a schedule and it was an away game. Knowing Myrtle Beach, <laughs> it probably or it rained. Could, or it could be yeah, rain. Could what rain. I've been doing for the past couple of days, getting the days confused. You know, thinking it was actually Wednesday when it was actually Monday or something, you know. Well, well she's I've been doing that a lot lately here lately. She's probably a tourist because, you know, Myrtle Beach is a tourist place she's probably probably been out partying get like you say got her days confused and that's what i do in myrtle beach I do, uh, not me but rachel i <laughs> beg you i beg you please please come to a crawdads game rachel it will be our loss we don't want to lose anything. we don't want to lose you rachel please and when you come to the crawdads game take a look at the new coaching staff while you're here oh look at that transition like we didn't it, even take a break. It's not wow. as cool when you acknowledge it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> like our new manager is an old manager from from last season, not last year, but last season. Joshua Johnson, aka JJ. JJ. Yeah, it's big J right there. And uh, me personally, I'm a, I'm a big fan of JJ simply because of the how the the energy in the dugout. Yes. Know, and every player that I asked, you know, what changed, you know, what brought that energy, and they were all, every one of them said, JJ, you know, this is this is all from JJ. I mean, with him running down 
to the first base coaching. You know, he's he's yeah. running, running, not acknowledging walking. the fans, yep. and just a huge smile on his face. Oh, and yeah. with that, we asked him. Well, I asked him if he wanted to be on the show tonight. And of course, he's busy right now with spring training going on. But he said he would love to. And I told him we would get with him during the season and see what we can do. Awesome. So hearing the name JJ or the nickname JJ always reminds me of the James 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 bit from Hee Haw. Does anybody know that one? No. Well, you no. should look it up sometime. It's funny. And that was way before <laughs> your time. And I don't. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Just a, um, I was kind of curious, so I've kind of looked up a little bit about J.J. Um, I did not realize he played 12 years in the minors. Um, he got invited to a big league camp one year for the uh, for the Suns, I think uh, it was. Who, who drafted him, though? I didn't. I didn't, mm -hmm. didn't find him. Come on. It's, it's not the Rangers, but who else? The Kansas City Royals. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get you away. You Royals. I said it. Hey, hey. You know, you know, I'm getting there. Oh, that's progress. <laughs> yeah. We can't get away from the Royals. He practices every yeah. night. But yeah, he got uh, he got called up to major to uh, uh, major league spring training and then got injured and that was the closest yeah. he got to that. The old KC drafted him and I just thought it was just funny because like we like said, you know, we loved him so much and it was yeah. like you know, I think there was a baseball card going around so because of you know people. Getting autographs and everything, oh, yeah. and I was like, well, "He has a card." And I looked it up, and sure enough, it said K Kansas City on it. And I'm like, "Wow, imagine that." Either way, JJ, welcome back to Hickory. We're, I'm, I for one, am happy that you're here. Um, and then we have for pitching coach, another former Crawdad coach or manager, uh, Steve Mintz. Yeah, I knew that guy. Yeah, the Mintz or everybody knows Steve yeah, Mintz. He's a home home state boy. He's from North Carolina. He's back. He was a manager for a long time. Yeah, for what, like two years, three years? Which in minor years. league terms. Two years. Two years. That's, two that's years, a long time on, two years on the same team in minor leagues especially, is forever. Especially the lower lower levels of minor leagues. Yeah, they change teams like we change clothes in the minor leagues. And um, for the hitting coach, we also have a former Crawdad coach. And Chad Comer, I think that's how you say it. It's, C O M E R. I, I know oh, it was before my time. Homer. I well, don't he, even know her. He was a catching coach. <laughs> yeah. They have catching coaches. Yeah, he yeah he was a catching coach for the Crawdads in 2015. Okay. Um, so he he's got a championship ring right with us. There um, And the fourth coach, which I'm not exactly sure what fourth coach is. It's a fun name. Though. It's just. <laughs> I guess just another coach. Somebody has experience to be there to is, is he the one taking guy? over? It's a meal at Taco tossed? Bell, only available at night. Do what? Is he the one that's going to take over when JJ gets tossed or something? Um, maybe. And you just get assistance. I guess it'll be like a bench coach in yeah. the majors. Um, fourth coach is Hiram Boca Chica. He's from Puerto Rico. Sure, yeah. He played uh, right. seven seasons in the major leagues. And had a 2.15 ERA, 15 home runs, and 37 RBIs. And the reason that caught my caught my eye was he played uh, basically one season in uh, Nippon Japanese baseball or Nippon professional baseball, um, and had 20 home runs and 47 RBIs. I mean, either he really improved. Going to Japan or the pitching in Japan is crap. Yeah. But baseball's anyway. bigger in Japan than people realize. Oh, baseball is huge in Japan. Huge. Yeah. We thought yeah. we got a battle of cowbells. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My dream. You would have thought you were at a soccer game with those horns or something. My dream game is to go to a, um, a, a game at the Tokyo Dome. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's a bucket list for sure. There's yeah. that and, I mean, Wrestle the Kingdom's dome. also at the, at the Tokyo Dome. So that's two things I want to go see at the Tokyo Dome. Wrestle Kingdom, which is, uh, who cares, and a baseball game. <laughs> I'm with you on both of those. Yeah. But uh, And the, the strength and conditioning, or I'm sorry, the athletic trainer is uh, Yuchi Takazawa. Speaking of Japan, that's a uh, Japanese name, right? Yes, he is from Japan. I couldn't oh, find God, his... thank God. If I was wrong about that, yeah. I'd be in trouble. <laughs> no, he was actually from South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I looked to find his hometown, and I, I couldn't find it. Um, I'm sure if I'd looked a little little deeper, I probably could have found it. And I 
probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but he went to the uh, uh, Southern Arkansas University um, and uh, basically to learn how to be a you know an athletic trainer. And he has interned with the Royals. <laughs> <laughs> and then he interned with the Rangers, and the Rangers just hired him on this year. Um, and just in case you're wondering, yes, he does speak English, because I did find where he took the um, um, English as a second language exam, which is, I didn't know this, but that's required of all foreign students to take before they come into the United States and go to the university. Hmm. So if... If they fail it, I don't think it bars them from going to that university, but it lets them know how you know, what they need to work on as far as you know English, because it'd be kind of hard to learn in a language you can't speak. Right. Um, and our strength and conditioning coach is Jonathan Nazarko. Well, N A Z A R K O. Sounds like Nazarko to me. Yeah. These are all fun names. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> um, but uh, he has his master's degree in exercise science from the University of Rhode Island. Well, okay then. Yeah. So he really a lot of exercise science at LR. Really knows yeah. how to exercise and knows what it does for your body. A lot of exercise science majors at LR. Yeah. A lot of that the athletes. So great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting there. You're doing good. You took a week off. Yeah. Well, actually, it's been almost two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the new coaching staff. Cool deal. I've got on. I've never stopped working out because you would have to start first. Then you ain't no quitter. I ain't no starter. <laughs> well, I guess the next thing we talk about is the big news. We finally got schedules. Well, yes. No, no, no. no, 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 no we're going to have baseball. I mean, yeah, that's the big news. Ah, yes. Finally. So, yeah. and Should we also yeah. cover what league and all? Well, we done that oh, before. Yeah, we did that on we'll, the last we'll, episode. Did we? Yeah, yeah, you weren't there. We did. Oh, I wasn't yeah. there. You That's didn't. right. Yeah. yeah. But we can expand on that because everything is official now. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much every team has a 10-year contract with their minor league team, or their major league team, which is... The Rangers. Which and is... And the Rangers are in the Rangers, right? Well, all the teams. All the teams in the whole league. Everybody's a Ranger affiliate now. Well, I didn't say nothing about the Rangers. I'm just saying all You're... the teams... Or have a ten-year contract with their parent team. Right. Okay, all right. Yes, before yeah. I didn't know that. before they had an op uh, option, they could either there were three things you could do. You could either be owned by the parent club, like the Crawdads are, or you could sign a two-year or a four-year player development deal. So, like the longest you would sign would be four years. Now, the minimum you'll sign ten years. Well, that's good. That means people can. You know, yeah. really get into it. You know, like if you're a a Crawdads fan, you can get you know your Ranger hat, your Ranger jersey, mm -hmm. and stuff without having to worry about well, what if I buy this and then they just get sent to another team? Like you, you know, you're good for ten years, well, at least. Well, we know we were good to begin with since they own us. Yeah. Before anyway. So, but um, if you want to go down the list, <laughs> we gonna count the buttons you said. Take a shot. I was. Yeah. I was <laughs> But, um, Not but, um, me. No. so it's, uh, what was the names of the leagues again? Alan worked very hard on this. I did. Sheet, I, I tried. Yeah. So. And these names are so clever for these league names. Jeremy's really, well, I know, I know the, the low A league names. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're, I love minor league baseball. I hate Rob. What Lance. do you call? Well, I just love. You want it to be called the Sparkly Sunshine well, no. Explosion Super what Happy Hot Dog USA League? Part of what I fell in love with. I would minor... love to see that on the baseball. Part of the, one of the things that I fell in love with with minor league baseball was the quirkiness of minor league baseball and the uniqueness. Yeah. And granted, the the league names weren't that quirky, but a lot you know some of them were unique. They weren't just you know Eastern Double A baseball. You know, it was like Florida State League, the Gulf Coast League, the Texas League, Carolina League. New York Penn League, which yeah. sounds like prison to me. But yeah, exactly. The New York Penn League. The, the New York, Pennsylvania. The, the Appalachian League. The, you know. And, and some would say Appalachian League, and those people are wrong. They are. <laughs> but you know, just the, you know, the league, and granted, it might be a temporary thing for 2021. Let's just, hey, let's get some baseball out there. People are starving for it. I think it's kind of dry. 
But that's a minor thing. That's a minor league thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, was th- I was not. Okay. All right. Well. Well, we're going to start off with our league. Well, I'm not sure the name. Untitled spreadsheet. You are so hard on that. You didn't yeah. give it. I know. I don't. I don't. Speaking of super fun. He also sent us. He sent the link to all of us, but didn't give us permission to view it. Yeah. So. Really? Oh. Give it a fun name. Well, we're the we're we we're the Roger. southern Roger division of high A. So you have the southern what? division, and we have the northern division. But what's our what's it called? You don't know. It's the southern division. Yeah, that's the name. That's the name. We're not the South Atlantic League. What league are we? The Southern Division. Of the what league? East. Of High A. No. no. We are the Eastern League. Okay, we're the Eastern League. The we're Eastern the... Southern League. The East, yeah, the Eastern High A League. South. But anyway. In the Southern Division. <laughs> not but of. No, but, but anyway. anyway. The Southern side. Has the Asheville Tourist, the Winston Salem Dash, the Greensboro Grasshoppers, the Greenville Drive, the Rome Braves, and we got a new one. All right. The Bowling Green Hot Rods. Yay. So Bowling Green. Because you know we had to get rid of a Kentucky team. Yeah. To get another Kentucky, Kentucky team. team. Our old Kentucky team. So because nothing against Kentucky, nothing against having a Kentucky league. Or a team in our league, but wasn't the reason we got rid of Le- they got rid of Lexington was because they were so far away from the rest of the. I think so, but, but I have it here. I have the mileage and how long it takes to drive Kentucky. because you know low A or high A, low A, they don't have air, they don't go on plane trips. It's all buses, and that was the big thing of doing all of this was to save on distance traveled yeah. and. Rest for the players, but it's the Eastern Division, the Eastern League Southern of the Southern Division. Division, and Kentucky is barely in the South or East. It's yeah, it's more Midwest. Well, than they got, you're talking about the whole Kentucky thing. We don't even have a Lexington team in. There's not a Lexington. My, team. They, I forgot they do have an affiliation with some kind of league. Yeah, it's, like, it's a, like a wood bat league. Isn't yeah, it? I mean they can draw players from that if they want. It's kind of like an independent league, mm-hmm. but you got rid of a. A championship team. Two time defending. They might as well three, put Lake Worth three times in their history. Yeah. It's kind of the first year they were a team and the last year they were a team. What a way to go out. Come in, come in hot, go out hot, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, even speaking of that, I mean, um, let's just go ahead and throw out the bad news. Chase Below is a free agent. So. That's good news that hasn't happened yet. Somebody find him. But he is Maybe. with an independent league. So he has been picked up. It's a team in St. Louis, which was it, it was super weird because the other night, you know, Josh Advocate, he hurt his shoulder in uh, in winter ball, and he messaged he he would posted something on Instagram, and he was pitching, you know, just throwing and stuff. And I thought it was just so cool because Lucas, when he takes a shower, he has his radio cranked all the way up, and I commented on the post. But as soon as I mashed sent. I noticed the song that was playing in the bathroom was his song that he came out to, the Volvi. So, right. and it was, and then we were, I was on TikTok, yeah, the other night, and this guy was taking a video of going into the arch and um, then getting up to the top, and you could see the Cardinal Stadium and everything, and I thought that was super cool. And then, like the next day, I said something to Chase, and he's like, "Yeah, I got picked up by a team in St. Louis." So I'm like. There's going to be a baseball season this year. This is before you know they announce the schedules and all that. I just we're going to hit a road trip to St. Louis. So we got uh, other road trip news that we can get to later. Yeah, but again, going back to the tourist, going from the stadium here in Hickory, it's an hour and sixteen minute drive, and it's only seventy seven miles. Winston Salem, and the tourists now are the affiliates of the Astros. Winston-Salem, they're still staying in the White Sox. It's an hour and 25 minutes, 74 miles. Greensboro Grasshoppers are now the affiliates of the Pirates. Aren't they Redskins? Yes, they're the Pirates. The Mariners. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the Mar- Who was the Marlins? Or Mariners? Is that uh, West Virginia? Mm, West Virginia. Which is no longer. Yeah. I mean, they're, I don't think they're anything now. No. But that's a one hour and 54 minute and 103 miles. Green, Greenville Drive, they're staying the Red Sox because, I mean, you have to because you have they own. 
Yeah, in you know, your ballpark looks like you know Big Daddy's ballpark. So Which is a, if you've never been, go. It's, it's it's great. It's an awesome experience. It's a two-hour drive, 117 miles. Rome is still the Braves. And from here, four hours and, 50, and 49 minutes, which is 318 miles. Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. And then the Bowling Green Red, Red uh, Hot Rods are the affiliates of the Rays. And like I said, that's in Kentucky. Six hours and 16 minutes, 398 miles. How long did it take you to get to Lexington? Six? About, about the same? About the same? Yeah, same? about the same. I was thinking it was further. Or less to get to Lexington. That's going to something. I, mean, I think we'll, we'll we'll make a trip one day back out there because I mean we want to see the Louisville bats again. Yeah. And we just got to stop at the Lexington. Was just. And I haven't been yet. It's a beautiful ballpark. I mean, it's old. Their staff. I mean, there's not. You can't say nothing bad about it. I mean, it was they they worked with us. Like I said, the very first time we went up there because I bought the tickets on the wrong side. And as soon as the game started, they they came and found me and said, "Y'all come with us." Yeah, and Rachel was there, but they weren't selling tickets anymore. So she said, oh, that's your loss. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rachel. She's never Rachel's been to a game because I've never saw tickets she does, she, does, she goes. She, she, I like to imagine Rachel just in her car with like a big, doing a big road trip. But she, you know, planned her road trip, and they're all on away games every time she gets <laughs> to the city. She just read all the schedule. Nobody schedules. will sell me a ticket. She's like, wait, 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 wait. The red ones are home? Shit. <laughs> But, you know, we have the Northern League as well, and we only play one team in the Northern League this year, and that's the Aberdeen Ironbirds. That's a cool name. Yeah. The affiliates of the Orioles, and they're in Maryland, which is a 7-hour and 11-minute drive, 478 miles. I kind of like that the that the divisions are mainly playing division other division teams. Yeah, but I hate that we don't have playoffs, because it would be awesome – to all year play your own division, you know, except for like one series, mm -hmm. and then play someone you've never played. In and the it, it might happen next year. It's just this whole yeah, pandemic it, thing. Yeah, that's we don't, we don't have playoffs. Barry Delete on that. There's, no there's playoffs, a, which is nothing's going to change for Indianapolis. Zinger, gotcha. Yeah, that Jennifer said that, didn't you? Where? Didn't you say no? That was you. That was me. No, I said yes. And we're also not having an All Star game this year. Do you know why there's no playoffs? Do you? I don't know either. No, I was asking. It's, just, it's just a, a baseball. Pandemic. It's a major league baseball decision. Because right. so, you know. they can't, they're not going to, wouldn't be able to allow enough people in there to run an all star. No, game. Manfred, you silly goose. And the next team is the Brooklyn Cyclones, which are the affiliates of the Mets. Now, I love the name Brooklyn Cyclones because you know me, I love roller coasters and roller coaster history. And one of the most famous roller coasters in the world. Is the site is Cyclone at um, Coney, Island. Coney Island? I've not been and in their stadium, but I've been right outside of Coney Island. And it's in New York, of course. And it's nine hours and thirty-three minutes, six hundred and thirty-three miles. Go on there, just fly. It's like an hour flight. <laughs> I want to go there because I want to go to Coney Island and ride aforementioned Cyclone. Um, Maybe next. Year. And you can go eat at the oldest hot dog stand in the United States. I know you're which not is going there. Nathan's. And you can go eat seventy of them in ten minutes for some reason. Yeah, but only on the 4th. Yeah. Any other day. That's celebrated one day of the year. Yeah. Any other day, they stop you that's at 69. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> nice. The next team is the Jersey Shore Blue Claws, formerly known as Lakewood. MTV and brought it back, so, you know, the, the Jersey Shore is hot right now. They're still the affiliates of the Phillies. It's a 9-hour and 15-minute drive, 608 miles. It's a very long drive. But beautiful. Fly. Beautiful ballpark. It was nice. We'll definitely have to make that trip back there. First time anybody described anything at the Jersey Shore is beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. And then we have the Hudson Valley Renegades, which are the affiliates of the damn Yankees. The team, uh, the old <laughs> team in Hickory was the Renegades, right? Uh, no, the Rebels. 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 Rebels, not Renegades. It's a 10-hour and 6-minute drive, 600. Yeah, yeah, now with it, if, if, if there's a team nowadays called the Rebels, uh, Twitter would make them change their name, and it would become the Renegades. Thanks, Jack. 681 miles. And then the last team is the Wilmington Blue Rocks, which was the affiliate of the Royals, but now is the affiliates of the Nationals. Seven hours, 47 minutes, 523 miles in Delaware. So 
there's our lead. What part of Delaware do you know? Is it near Dover? Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah, but is that near Dover? I don't do we know. know. I didn't look to see where they were at. Yeah, well, Delaware's not that big. Everything in Delaware is near everything else in Delaware. That's true. Next. 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 Thank you, Nance. But, um. We're going down to Lowe. <laughs> Let's talk about our ducks. The ducks. Yay. So. Quack, quack. I don't, I don't have the mileage and the drive times for them, but it's pretty much... He gave up. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know how to do the, the time. Were you going to go from their stadium, or was you going from our I mean, here in Hickory? If, if you want two spreadsheets, we got to hit at least a 500 views for that. That's, yeah. We're yeah, not, we, we're, yeah. But the Carolina Mudcats, which was high yeah. last year, yeah. they're... They're pretty much everything's low A this year with them. The Mudcats, they're still the affiliates of the Brewers. Down east, of course, is the Rangers. The Fayetteville Woodpeckers, which was, you know, high A, which makes no sense as we talk about why are they yeah, that is low A. Nice new stadium. I mean, the stadium could yeah. be triple A stadium. If that's another stadium. If you have an opportunity to go there, go. Yes. I still that, am. That stadium is amazing. If you love baseball, it's a wonderful baseball stadium. You if you like trains, what? you can sit there and watch a baseball game with trains going anymore. on both sides of the stadium. It's awesome. But if you go, make sure you take your trash cans because they're still the affiliates <laughs> of the assholes. I mean, the Astros. That's never going to die, by no, the way. No, no. no Astros no. fans are like, you guys quit that already? <laughs> no. No. It's probably, it's probably not going away and for a long time. The, the Canapolis, but now called the Cannonballers, still the White Sox. Also, a beautiful stadium. They I've been wanting to go. Game there yet, but it's been wanting to go because they have their uh, cafe open. Food. Yeah, because they one of the smartest things I've ever heard of any baseball team doing was when they built that new stadium. They didn't have it, you know, listed as just a ballpark. They have it listed as a city park, okay. so they are open year round. And I seen their playground. Oh my god! Yeah. I, I want to get on that. It's like yeah. a hopes course. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, so. I mean, and um, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say when when I go finally go to a Cannonballers game, I want to find somewhere. I've not been able to find any on eBay yet. So maybe if you have some, send it to, send them to me. I'll pay you some of the old bubble goggles, like like the um like the logo and yeah, what the guys be, wearing. Yeah, we also like have the Bill Earnhardt goggles. Yes, Frederick. Fredericksburg Nationals, and they were the Washington Nationals. F Nats. But they used to be the four, uh, Potomac Nationals. It used to be P Nats. So. F Nats. And then you still have Lynchburg Hillcats. Brown. F Nats was, sounds like a like groupies. Like, can you believe all these F Nats out in the parking lot waiting for us? Like, or a cuss word. <laughs> F Nat. The Hillcats. We've moved on to the Hillcats now, guys. Okay. Were were the affiliates of the, the Royals? Were they? Yep. Oh, who they were? Then who was? She just wanted to say Royals again. Wilmington Blue yeah. Roll. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Mommy and Daddy are fighting. Actually, weren't they in a different league? No. The Hillcats. No. The Hillcats played Wilmington. They were in the Carolina League? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they had a cool alternate logo. But I think they might have. Were they yeah. not the Indians before? I don't uh, know. Uh, but now they're, they're, they are now. They're so if together. they are. It says, it says Cleveland, Cleveland Indians. Indians. You can't say that anymore. No, nah, just kidding. They're doing it for a whole another year, which is a, a yeah, maybe I'll talk about it on a different show. But the fact that they no, I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. We're, we're we we don't have that much content today. The Indians say you just hope this content's recorded. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the Cleveland Indians have said that they are getting rid of their name because people find it offensive. But here's the thing. If they really cared about people finding it offensive, they'd go ahead and change it now. The fact that they're still going with it for a whole another year so they can run that merchandise well as dry as they can means they don't really care that much. I don't think people really found it offensive. I don't think so either, but again... It's, it was fine for like 100 years, and all of a sudden it's offensive. They yeah. took Aunt Jemima away. Yep. They done <laughs> took an Indian off a of land. Did you know that? Yeah. I did not know that until the other night when I was on TikTok. <laughs> this saw, has been four white people funny, talk about racial issues. I didn't see a funny joke about that, though. <laughs> They said they put a, the Land of Lakes new logo without the Indian. They said that's just like a, just like the white man take the Indian away and keep the land. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, right. 
President Jackson's favorite butter. <laughs> We're talking about taking him off the plane. Well, that one, what? Uh, that one I kind of see. Yeah, I'm putting Rosa Parks on there. That one I like. I don't know. No, that, no Harriet Tubman, I think. I don't know. It was that one I like. It was someone of color, and it was a female. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Again, that's true or not. I'd edit that shit out. Yeah. This has been another episode of four white people talking <laughs> about race. Anyway, the Salem Red Sox, the affiliates of the Boston Red Sox. We're going to change names. I don't think them Hillcats should be called Lynchburg Hillcats. That's the name, That's of, the the name of the city. Well, they should change it. Yeah, Lynch. We're going to change some everything some else. Kind of Lynch, we need to change. Face. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's spelled differently. I, I'm pretty sure Lynchburg was named after someone's name. Yeah, you can't change I someone's don't care. name. That's why it was called lynching, because that guy wanted to <laughs> lynch him up. No. I uh, again, I don't know about any of this if it's anyway, or not. Anyway, <laughs> Dust the Green Jackets, beautiful ballpark. Go check that one out. Yes. Is uh, the affiliates of the, the Braves now. Are they really? Yep. So, Charleston River Dogs is Tampa Bay. The Columbia Fireflies. You want to guess who they're affiliates of now? The Mets. No. The Yankees. No. The Royals. <laughs> <laughs> and sad news out of baseball, talking about these fireflies. Wait, oh, we don't have no. any tissues for Ethan. Oh, God. I don't, guys, <laughs> if you haven't heard. I need a minute. I need a minute. Take a knee. I'm, take a knee. I'm not taking a knee. Oh. <laughs> take a knee back there. Make sure we're I'm a, yeah, We are. Yeah. People see, I take a knee. People take that out of context. We were just talking about Harriet Tubman. That it's. <laughs> Tim Tebow has announced his retirement from baseball. came out to see him that knew nothing and cared nothing about baseball. And our last team, Myrtle Beach Pelicans, and they are still the affiliates of the Chicago Cubs. And despite what Rachel says, I recommend going to see a Pelicans game in Myrtle Beach because you know she won't be there. Yeah, Rachel <laughs> won't be there because she can't get a ticket. They, they have lost out on her. Uh, so we need to all go out and support them. Because of Rachel. Yes. But anyway, that staff, when I went down there, they bust their butts to make sure everybody there was having a good time. It's and it's a, a, a little older stadium. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a nineties built stadium. I'm gonna but see what else Rachel reviews, see if she's a Myrtle Beach local. But yeah. They have awesome lighting systems. Yes. So who else yeah. has that now? Uh Canapolis has that. And um <laughs> The name of the park. has that too. Ticket return. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we couldn't get tickets, and it's ticket return yeah, ballpark. Yeah, ballpark. Nice. Ticket return ballpark. Well, well she bought them. She'd had it returned. More like ticket. <laughs> can't get them ballpark. Oh, but let's go back to the schedule. <laughs> uh, uh, this year's schedule. I don't. Stupid. I don't know. I mean, I'm torn about it. There's yes. there's pros and cons. We will start the season off. Which are we even going to go there? Because I mean, are we going to miss up one day? I think I'm going to go to Kannapolis since it's a new ballpark, first game in a new ballpark, and the dads are on the road. As usual, if the, I can get tickets, if the when the dads are on the road when they start the damn season, it seems like they're always, always. here. Yep, Greensboro. Yep, and then the the season starts. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know Miss Lou. Yeah, she, but that wasn't a black was one. Yeah, she passed away this year. But that's not Lou. Is that not Lou? No, Lulu. Is it? Yeah, that's what oh. on the back. I didn't know she was black. She's the, she's the Lulu. I didn't. I thought she was the golden Lulu. one. I don't know. Anyway, she our season starts Lulu. off on May 4th. May it be with you. May the 4th be with you. In Greensboro. <laughs> and for the next six days, they are going to be in Greensboro playing every day. Every Monday. Every Monday is, is off day. day. Is an no more are the three and four game series. Yeah, you know, it used to be a five game series was a long series. Well, now every series is a six game series. Oh, God, I'm gonna get tired of these people. Yeah. Are they? Are you? They're gonna get, gonna tired, gonna get of tired of, of us. Or are they gonna get tired of us? Yes. Yes. 
They're definitely gonna get tired. Of Fuck it up, guys. Get ready. <laughs> and all these Buckle new teams. Well, are we playing new teams? Yeah, we'll get tired. Well, they're still they're new Winston affiliates Salem. and all. Winston Salem. Winston Salem. Winston Salem. Oh, damn, Winston Salem. Winston Salem. Is that at home? Yeah, that's home. So we open up at home against yeah. Winston Salem. We get to give them mail for the first against game. Against the hyphens? We have the hyphens. <laughs> Again, May fourth through the night in Greensboro. Monday is a travel day, which is an off day, which I don't consider that an off day for those guys. But at the same time, they're coming from Greensboro. On they're one of probably going to come back Sunday. They'll be there that they'll be home that night. Yeah. So for those, they'll get a day off. So and then we open here on the eleventh for the next six days. The Winston Salem hyphens. Because <laughs> it is not a dash. It's hyphen. I'm not going to go through the whole, but I just wanted to let you know when our season started and our first home game, and we do end the season in Rome, which sucks. Yeah. Because, I mean, we, we never like to end the season away. We always we want to see these guys it. off. So. But somebody's got to end it away. Yeah. So I, I'm, I would be good if we alternated opening on the road and opening at home like every other year and vice versa with closing the season. Ended on the road one year, ended at home the next. And we're on the road for both this year. Yeah. We're and the, the season the ends on season. September 19th. Again, in yeah, home. I can't remember the last time. Our last home, game, the our last home oh, game will be geez. September 12th. Against Greenville. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of torn about the, about the, the schedule this year. You're going to need to get season tickets, by the way, Rachel, so you can be in the game. Yeah. They'll sell you a season ticket. That's big money for them. That's how they. That's how you can assure your spot in the soon to be distanced because we don't know how it's going to be kidding. done yet. Yeah. Just, I think I think Doug told me maybe twenty five percent capacity to start out. To start out, which on a weekday won't be a problem. On the weekend, they'll have to turn some people away. You will have to wear a mask. Yeah. In the ballpark, unless you're eating actively or drinking. eating or drinking. That's not. I'm that's not drinking. a state. That yeah, that, that is a, a major thing. league baseball rule. Yeah. Um, no bags, unless they're a diaper bag. I'll just put diapers I'm milking, in my I, bag. I, I, that's exactly what I'm doing. They didn't say whether it had to be a baby diaper or You don't or have to bring a baby diaper. diaper. Because it depends. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, got you, Doug. Bags We're are on that one. Thing. We don't don't shame bags. us for our yeah. toiletry issues. I'm getting a message from Doug. You, be dying. you are not taking diapers. What do you want me to do? Pay $6 for a bag of Skittles and a Pepsi? No. <laughs> when I see my way, Jennifer brought up a point. My way of not wearing a mask is keep sunflower seeds in my, in my mouth. There's but no way. They don't sell sunflower seeds. They There's sell, no way they're going to allow and the anybody. players are not even allowed that. No, no, no. Alan, 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 get two masks, right, and make a little pouch out of the second one to, to like, tape on the back so you get a little snack pouch. You see, you don't understand <laughs> the mask and beards. My thing. I don't, and I'm glad. <laughs> my thing about it's the itchy bags, on stubble. I know that. The thing about the bags, though, is, like, we all bring, you know, stuff like cowbells. And the sombrero, the signs. the signs, and all that. So, Doug, I need my own office. Yes. Me too. I need a place to put my stuff, Doug. I'll We're share it all. We can share it all. Yeah. I mean, could you just put there a couple of cots? I'll tell you where to put it. I'll tell you where to put it. I would. There's a, there's a spot open that's been open for years now where they do the video. I'll sleep mm -hmm. in the clubhouse. I don't care. In the radio booth. <laughs> Nobody's yeah, in the radio booth. We'll stay, we'll stay in the radio booth. <laughs> and I might, I'll call a game or two. Yeah. For we'll, free. We'll let Ethan do I'll the radio broadcast. I'll do it for broadcast. free. They like me enough, they might start paying me. But, I mean, I am just ecstatic that there's baseball. Granted, there's going to be a Thank lot you. of changes. I got to go to one one game last year, and that was an independent game in Lexington, South, South Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> but, they, you know, you had to wear, they wanted you to wear your mask. You know who's going to love the reduced capacity? Zach Hample. A lot less children to push over to get balls now that there's nobody there. And no interaction with the players. That's what's, the season take out of that. <laughs> That's what's really going to piss me off. There's no with interaction the, with the players. With the players yeah. Zach Hample and Rachel on the road getting foul balls. I don't know how you're going to go about doing that. Well, things may autographs. change during the season, too, though. I mean, it all depends on what happens with the, the virus. Yeah. Jeremy seems real positive well, about this geez, change stuff, and I feel like we're well, never going to have to hear well, the, the number of cases 
has been on the decline every day for like a week and a half. That's good. That's optimistic. Well, then they'll just come up with a new strain of it. Well, no, I'm not talking about politics where you, whatever, but the cases that have been reported have been on a decline for like a week and a half. The number of hospitalizations are down for like the last week and a half. And this is not just in North Carolina. This is like nationwide. Perhaps we are turning a corner. So, again. And that's even again. That's even with the new strains. Just stay safe, people. Wear your mask yeah. if you want to. If you're sick, you know, stay the hell home. Don't get yeah. sick. Be smart. Wear your mask, please, so that we can get over this and then we won't have to wear them anymore. I, I don't wear my mask. I don't like wearing it. I don't like wearing mine either. And I don't like it either. But I it's do been it over a year and I ain't got sick. Mm -hmm. But that's because I'm a veteran. Now, if <laughs> I got so much shit going through this body. I'll, I'll say this. I don't like wearing wearing a mask. But like if I walk into a store and they ask me politely to wear a mask, I'll put my, I'll put my mask on. Just take your beard and go if, up to if they If they get an attitude about it, I'll take my business elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And more than likely, wear my mask in that other store. But anyway, let's not talk about that. I want to talk a little more about the schedule. Okay. Um, I'm kind of torn about the schedule. You know, I'm excited because there's baseball, and but there's only 160 games instead of what was it, 174? 170. Is it it's a small number in the 70s? Yeah, yeah. 170. I want to say 74 as well. Same. But we have 160 games. We play 72 of those against three teams. Or 100, we play 120 games. 72 of those are against three teams. That's more than half the season. I guess only That's three the way it's teams. always been, though. Well, I mean, I, they, we've always played certain teams more than others. Well, yeah. And then there's but been times we, we, well, we had played, a lot more teams we didn't to play. play. Three of them for over half the season. Right. That, but we're only playing what? Like five or six teams this season. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, you know, we have 60 road games and 42 of those are less than a two-hour drive away. I'm excited about that. You know, that means I can not have to leave work early to go see a road game. If we can get into those road games. Yeah, if we can get in. That's, but, that's my big thing. Like we found out that if not, it's their loss. Frisco yeah. and Round Rock will be home on May 15th. So. And what's May 15th? That's this man's birthday. 40th. I'm old. But thought was going to be the Rangers were going to be home on my birthday. I saw the look Jeremy gave you when you said I'm old at 40. Because <laughs> yeah, on April 27th, I'll be 45. But the Rangers are Well, not... if we want to talk about that, Thursday was my birthday and I'm 39. I'm 20. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought the Rangers were going to be on, be home, but they're not. They're actually in Houston. I knew they were playing the assholes, but I got confused. So I think we're going to go to the Ranger game on Monday to see them play the damn Yankees. I would love to watch them play Mike Trout, but yeah, that'd be awesome. that's like right at the start of the season, at the end, and at the end of the season. You get to see uh, Aaron Judge. Yeah, because I'd love to see him. Mike Stanton. Yeah, Mike Stanton. John Carlos Stanton. Yeah. Or, yeah, John Carlos. Why did I say Mike? Uh, that's, that was his name when he first started playing, was Mike. And then he changed it to John Carlos. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yep. Look at, <laughs> look at his rookie card says Mike Stanton. I don't believe you. And he was like, that's not exotic enough. Who would go from Mike to John Carlos? Who wouldn't? I mean, I guess Come on. Mike's a lot easier to spell. After this, I'll look it up and show you. I don't believe him. And, and really, I'm being ribbed. That's here, your homework folks. at home. Look it up and show yourself. No, it's a rib. I'm being I'm being messed with. Comment below, which I know you won't. <laughs> <laughs> At least give us a thumbs up. Yeah, please do that. I mean, if you made it this damn far, yeah. thumb it up. Just just even whether you like it or not. I mean, Hell, even thumb down. Hell, okay. make, make some kind of thumb. Let me know you're there. Acknowledge that you watched this. Well, you're right. It formerly known as Mike Stanton. Well, that's well, odd. I guess I only do that subconsciously. <laughs> I'll, I'll set a brain wave. The great minds think alike. Yep. Here comes Oscar. <laughs> I guess we're kind of level on stuff because the cat just came down the steps and we're all checking him out. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, but, um, 
But um, um, but um, another shout. But um, go check out Moose Candle Company. Yes, please. This ain't one of theirs. Why are you showing it then? But it's a candle. Go check out Moose Candle Company, which is candles that I make and sell. Um, uh, on Facebook, like my page, buy my candles, please. Uh, they're available at the vault in Bethlehem. They're available at Rebecca's Country Store in Lincoln County and uh, Mimi G's Boutique in Taylorsville. And you can message me if you live around here and we'll, you can buy my candles directly from you. I have nothing to plug. I don't have anything to plug either. Just check out. Yes, we do. Yes, you yes, do. We do. I don't have anything to plug except for these several things I'm about to plug. Except for your <laughs> beard reviews. Yeah, my beard reviews that I'll start this up. this beautiful thing? That she pays for. Do you see this beautiful thing? Mmm, it smells magnificent. What do I have in? Um, Mad Cat. Mad Cat. With a little bit of, you got the Mad Cat beard oil, which you can watch our review video on that. It's Turn 2 Bearded on turn, YouTube. Turn, no, number, number two. 2 Bearded. Mm -hmm. That's some Mad Cat butterscotch, and then he put some Chesapeake butter. Vitality, whatever it's called, in vintage, and they mix great together. Yep. I'd like to give a shout out to Ruddy Man Grooming. Go check them out. They're from Granite Falls. They're doing Very awesome things. Um, more news on them later on. It's going to be exciting, I promise. So, but yeah, definitely go check Still out Turn like Two Bearded. Go check out Conrad's Cowbells. So. Hopefully we'll get some more content on there this season. Different yes. ballparks. Don't check me out. Different ballparks and you know weekly updates on Yeah, he does better updates than we do. Stuff and things. Yeah, doing. So and with that, we'll see you when we see you. Hopefully we'll see you at the ballpark. So get Please. your season tickets. Peace yeah, out. Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully Rachel can get a lease a ticket somewhere. Yeah. Maybe we should start a GoFundMe page for <laughs> <laughs> to get a ticket. Get Rachel if, a ticket. If there's any Pelican season ticket holders watching, please donate one of your unused tickets to Rachel. So Rachel if if we her. had the sob story, the sob music from the little pet yeah. commercials, we would play it right here. Yeah. Uh, that would probably get DMCA'd on YouTube. So Probably. You know the song. It's the Sarah McLaughlin one. You, you, yeah. you play it in the background. Yeah. Again, guys, stay safe. Do what you got to do. Keep us all safe. And we'll see you at the ballparks. Have a good one. Peace. Peace, peace. You think it stopped? No. No? You think we're live still? We're still live! Yeah. Do it live! Yeah, we're still live. Yeah! Bye, peoples. <laughs>